as you can tell, I'm on holidays in a really safe environment. Mm. Newcastle, New South Wales. Now, that was just two ambulances, which I was surprised because I was really hedging my bets that they were two cop cars. As is always customary, I see a TikTok and then I spend money that I don't have buying the product that is being sold to me. And today's product is this drink bottle, but it's no ordinary drink bottle. No, it has an automatic opening lid, but that's not all. Um, uh, of a, you put a thing here and you drink it and the thing tricks your brain into thinking the water in here is flavoured. Does that make sense? Anyway, let's go through it. I bought it, I spent a lot of money, um, and I've been using it for the past three weeks, and it is so good. This is amazing. Um, so I bought some more flavours. Um, yes, this looks like a bag of chips. It is, in fact, a little zipper bag made by a friend of mine. You can find them on Instagram. Just search for chip underscore in underscore weird user handle but you know all the others were taken they make these gorgeous like bags out of packets of things and i i constantly buy them i did things i don't need does that look like something else to you so let me try this to explain this is like a center disc and it goes on the top here and then you fill this with water let's fill it with water and i trust the tap water here uh I mean, Newcastle, as you heard, the glory sounds of Newcastle earlier. It's a good place. It's a great place to live. It's a beautiful beach town. I lived here for three and a half years and I loved it. <laughs> and if you want to hear some stories of when I lived in Newcastle, go to episode 69 of my podcast, Complete Drivel. And just be warned, wear headphones and make sure you're over the age of 30. Close the lid, same see. And then you've got this like... It's a, yeah, it's a little bit phallic looking, but this thing in you. Um, and then what you do is you get your flavour. As you can see, this one is peach. Peach flavour. You put the peach flavour. It's not a flavour, it's a scent. Oh, it's it's like those little peach ring lollies. Do you know those? Oh, love them. Anyway, you put it on. Put it on there. You lift it ever so slightly, and then you bleep. Half off. And then it tastes like the smell. See here, you lift it up slightly, and then the air circulates around it, and then when you go, you know, you're sort of breathing it in at the same time, and you're drinking it, and it trips your brain into thinking that the water is flavoured. What's really strange about them is it's not strong. Like, it's just like there's a hint of peach. Like, it's nice. Oh, it just sort of jazzes your water up a bit. Anyways, that was the peach flavour. Yeah, I give that about a 6 out of 10. That's the image on this one. No other fucking clue what that means. I think it might be... Iced tea. Did I ask for lemon or peach iced tea? Because that, I mean, that's fresh Greek. Oh. What is that? I don't know what that is. So we put this on the, uh, lift it up. Oh, that's disgusting. Okay, no, that gets a zero out of ten. I don't know what that is, but it tastes... Oh, it tastes like I'm drinking chemical water. Let's do the pineapple. Okay, it smells like coconut and pineapple, which I'm actually more than thrilled with. Okay. Yeah. But it, it smells like one of those, like, summer candles. It just, um, not for me. That goes in the zero pile. Huh. Oh, it makes me sick. Okay. Let's try and call orange. You know what? Uh, orange juice 
has always given me an upset stomach. Oh, the pineapples made me quite dizzy. Um, okay. It smells like orange rind. Like orange peel. Like when you, if you mush the orange peel. Oh, that's amazing. Oh my god, that is so refreshing. Oh, that tastes like... It's only subtle though. It's not like... You don't get that sweetness. But you're just getting like the... Your brain knows it's orange juice. But it's like very... very oh, it's a down. That gets 8 out of 10. And this is grape flavour. Oh, that's exactly how... Oh, it's... It's so sweet. It's like, you know, grape drinks? Like, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's like confectionery flavoured grape. Like hubba bubba. Grape hubba bubba is what it smells like. Oh, I'm not really, I'm not convinced on this one. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, it's so good. This is what you need. You need something that is so strong and disgusting that when you have it, it's, it's like, it's delicious great play the butter. I give that one 9 out of 10. Last but not least, the cola flavoured. I mean, I'm not going to lie, I've already had the cola flavoured one. Um, oh, it smells like cola lollies. <clears throat> oh, I feel sick. I don't, I don't feel good. No. But it's just water. Like, I'm literally just drinking. Uh, um. Again, it tastes like you've got a little hint of cola in here. Anyway, it costs a fortune. I don't really remember where I bought it. And it came in like inconspicuous packaging. So it had no branding on it. So I don't know if this is a legitimate one or a rip-off one. If it is a rip-off one, it's not that bad. This concept is a 10 out of 10. The execution is maybe of six or seven out of ten. I just need to work on their flavouring a little bit. Just a little bit more scientificness needs to go into this.